Hello everybody, my name is Karim Fanous. I am a head of engineering at uh, StrongDM and today I'm going to be showing you a demo on enabling MFA across various StrongDM uh, supported resources. I'm going to demo Postgres and I'm also going to demo enabling MFA while establishing an SSH, SSH session against the Linux uh, server. MFA is, as we all know, one of the most you know, critical and reliable weapons, so to speak, against uh, data or security breaches. There was research that Microsoft conducted that looked at historical breaches and they concluded that 99% of them could have been prevented if uh, MFA was in play. Um, one of the challenges with MFA is rolling it out can be um, a little bit difficult, especially if you've got legacy apps and infrastructure that uh, do not support MFA interactions. The demo I'm about to show you, again, is just scoped to Postgres and an index box, but it applies to any resource that StrongDM supports, even if these resources do not support MFA interactions. All right, so let's dive in. The screen you're looking at now is our policy editor. We're, this is a new capability in StrongDM where you can compose an authorization policy in a language. This is a language called Cedar. It came out of AWS. You can write code as uh, I'll describe what that uh, snippet of code does, or you can just use this very simple uh, GUI to compose the, the policy. So this particular policy is, uh, I'm going to highlight it right there. It, it basically says that this principal, this user, which happens to be me, can connect to a particular database, uh, but upon connection, they should be challenged with an MFA uh, prompt. All right, so let's give it a shot. We'll just save to make sure it's fine. And I'm going to come to Postgre. So again, keep in mind, I'm using the same tools I use you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm using Postgre as my SQL client, and I'm going to connect to that Postgres database. All right, so I'm going to click Connect. And immediately, you can see this pop-up that says, please continue as my second device. I got a notification on my phone. I click Done, and I'm in. So you have noticed that the session or the connection to that database was stalled until I was able to, you know, to respond to that MFA challenge on my phone. Okay. All right. So let's try a different uh, scenario. I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to uncomment on this policy. Okay. Um, this one's a little bit more interesting. It, and we'll read it together. It says, if a member of this role, this is the engineering role, which I'm a member of, is trying to read that's that select uh, operation in databases, the DVD rental table, um, and they're reading something that you know contains customer, then they should be um, challenged with an MFA prompt. And this scenario is perhaps you've got uh, PII information or you want to prevent data exfiltration, and you just want to make sure that you know a user that's accessing sensitive resources uh, can be challenged with an MFA prompt or otherwise. You can also layer in approval workflows and other mechanisms in, in that policy. All right, so let's give it a shot. I'm going to connect to a different database now, and I'm in. And I'm going to write, you see that period up there? I'm just reading some records from the customer table. And again, I'm stopped in the flow until I respond to the duo challenge on my phone. And now, only then, can I see that data return back to me. What an amazing way to try and prevent, again, data exfiltration and to make sure that you know, a user or principal accessing sensitive resources is who they claim they are. And MFA can help with that uh, and, again, like I said, reduce a lot of the risks. Not only that, but you also get, I'm going to comment this out, you also get the full auditability uh, that StrongDM offers. So you can see in here, if I click on that, it shows me that I connected, uh, this is actually where I live, somewhere in Seattle. You can see it, it shows that I tried to perform a select operation and I responded with an MFA challenge. So you get very rich auditability as well. All right, so let's switch gears now to a different resource. And this one is uh, a Linux box. I'm going to try to SSH to a Splunk collector instance. And the same thing, we can read this policy together. It says if this user, me, connects to this resource, challenge. Okay, so let's do it. Same thing. There you go. And only then am I in. All right. So that's a quick recap of the power of StrongDM in enabling MFA across different flows, whether within the connection or in the case of Postgres databases, even within the flow of interacting with that database. And as I mentioned, you can apply that single line of code 
to any resource that StrongVM uh, supports and thereby helping you protect your assets, uh, reduce uh, risk you know, and guarantee that you know, some uh, principals or users accessing very sensitive resources are who they claim to be. All right. Thank you very much.